Hey guys, Jamie Vinistri coming at you from Rise in the Hong Kong Convention Center. Um, I've had the chance to sit down before uh, everything got crazy around here. I had the chance to uh, to sit down and talk with Sofia Gancedo. Did I pronounce that well? Gancedo. Gancedo uh, from Bricksave Holding Limited. So uh, what caught my eyes as I was walking by, we're talking about equity crowdfunding in real estate, which is of great interest to me like most of you know. And uh, I had an opportunity to talk and now I had an opportunity to share her story with the world. So tell me a little bit about yourself, okay. your background, and then we'll get to know the company a little bit. My name is Sophia. I have worked in real estate for the past five years um, for a very big family, uh, developers in Latin America. I started this company and now it's an English company. So our offices are in London, um, Stad in Switzerland, and New York and Argentina. I'm in Argentina. Um, so our main market is Latin America, but the idea is to make Brexit global. So the staff is distributed. Uh, our idea is to do crowdfunding, a crowdfunding platform for real estate at a global level. So equity crowdfunding and crowdfunding in general, these are massive buzzwords. What's interesting is that you've added the real estate component. So tell us how it works when you marry real estate, equity crowdfunding, you put them together. Yes. Explain to us how it works. Okay, so what we found is that um, triple A investments in real estate were only limited to the very wealthy. And as you know, in real estate, it's not only where you buy, but when you buy. There are cycles, economic cycles. Well, in luxury real estate, those are less vulnerable to cycles because there's always people who are willing to buy very good real estate around the world. So, what we're doing is through crowdfunding investments, um, from $2,500, you can invest in real estate on the most prestigious cities in the world, on the best neighborhoods. Those are finished properties, apartments, um, triple A, and they are rented, so you receive immediate returns, which are proportional to how much you invest in. And after four years, or when the property uh, increases its value in 20%, the property is sold, you get your money back, and whatever increase in value you have, proportional to your investment. And um, every, I know different jurisdictions have different rules about investment, but what, what's the maximum? Um, the maximum is the amount per property. For example, we normally do 500k properties, dollars. Um, so that's the maximum. You could have one investor, but it would have to... We mainly have companies that own those apartments. There's one company per apartment and different kind of shares. So BrickSafe would have shares type A, and we have the management and the voting banks. And um, the shares type B are economic rights, and those are the investors. Because of course we don't want everyone to, to have their opinion in every single sense. We do the management, um, so with six clicks you can become an investor Great. of real estate. You can pay with credit card or wires, um, and you have a dashboard, an investment dashboard, where you can watch your investment and see how your property has increased, how much has been distributed in, in income, etc., etc. So transparency, accessibility, international markets, that's like our basic mission in our company. Does so, it make sense? So that makes sense to me. So, <laughs> so you guys can go to you guys can go to bricksafe.com and, and through six clicks you can become six an investor. Six clicks you become an investor. Yes. Okay. And what's your experience in, in dealing with people who invest? Is it difficult to manage their expectations? How is no, the investor relations been? If you tell me the greatest challenge today is educating the investor, um, we are people who come to this conference are normally computer savvy, they understand the internet very well, but you want to go, crowdfunding is go to the crowds. So we have an Uber driver who's an investor, um, we have a teacher, um, so that's that's a kind of thing where we would like to reach. Uh, we have two types of investors, high, high worth um, network, high net yes, individuals, like they would invest 100K more or less, but then you have the 2,500 people and at the end of the day, we want that part to be the largest. So you're... you're, 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 you're We're democratizing the investments okay, in real estate, Good. luxury investments in real estate using a web platform. Very efficient, completely transactional. Where is the most exciting market for you guys? To buy properties yes. or to... Um, actually, we are looking for very conservative places where to invest. Um, but as crowdfunders, Asia is now our next market. So, and that's why you're here. Exactly. Okay. So we'll be launching in Asia in November. Any particular cities in Asia? 
we've been thinking about Hong Kong, Singapore for, for sure. Um, but we are going to the Asian market for them to invest London, New York, Miami, etc. Sao Paulo now. Um, so the properties are in conservative places, but we're going all around the world to get um, crowdfunders. Brazil is very important. Maybe you'll end up in Montreal one day. Yes, no, for sure. For sure. Well, thanks for taking We're the time. I'm absolutely was... interested in the crowdfunding market in Madrid, for sure. That was amazing insights. So I appreciate your time. Okay. I know these guys got to go, so uh, good luck. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. It's a long day when you're presenting, so good luck. And uh, thanks for your time, guys. Thank you, Jamie.